This is not financial advice. I just hope you bought your oven mitts, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now let's get straight to the point. Hit that like button to show your boy some love. Hit that notification bell to stay tuned. Let's get straight to the point. Subscribe to the channel. And the first banger on the list is Caster Mare Time. Ticker symbol C T R M. Now, that don't mean go rush out and buy this stock. That means listen to the information, baby, so you don't get left hole in the bags. Now, here we go. Caster Mare Time at the time of this recording is 36 cents. It is down. 14% on a day for a particular reason. We're gonna get into that. It is down 19% on a week, and on a year, it is down 45%. However, if you got in with us, guess what? You got in when it was 29 cents, and I want you to be up on a play as early as we are. So hit that link in the top comment, get in that Discord with us, baby. We're gonna welcome you with open arms, and hit that BlockFi link. So whether or not the cryptocurrency is running up or coming down, you earn an interest on it and guess what? It's free, no commission trades. Let's talk about it. And what's going on with Caster Mare Time right now is this. So CTRM, they just issued a one to 10 reverse stock split decision. Now, they announced this on May 22nd, 2021. Now let's go into some of the details on this article. So the global shipping company, Caster Mare Time, they announced that its board of directors has determined to affect a one for 10 reverse split. Now, for those of you who don't understand what a reverse split is, I'm gonna break it down for you. But let's talk about it. The company shareholders, so all of the shareholders, they had a vote and they approved on this and they approved that it had to have two different kind of parameters. Now, they were this, the ratio could not be less than one new share equals two old shares. It couldn't be less than that. And then they said not more than one new share equals 75 old shares. So that was the range. And I'll break it down for you for those of you who don't even get that. But let's talk about when it's gonna go into effect. The split will take place on May 28th, 2021. Okay, so now let's go to the next part. And it says this, after the reverse stock split becomes effective, every 10 current shares that you have right now will be combined into one and it will count as one. So if you have 10 shares, guess what? It's going to look like now you have one share worth the same dollar amount. If you have 20, it's gonna look like you have two. So this is how this works. Now, a reverse split is generally downward pressure on a stock, meaning this is not a good look for the stock because it doesn't usually happen for good reason. Okay, but let's keep going and let's actually get into some more of the details on this. So, according to Caster Mare Times filing, the company was notified of a possible delisting on the NASDAQ because the company share price closed below $1 for 30 days. Now they needed to hit that mark in order to be listed on the NASDAQ and to remain listed. So the reason this is important is because the NASDAQ is where you could buy and most people could just buy stocks in general. So imagine that you have the most popular store, right? Let's say it's like a Walmart and it's like a Target, right? And then you have your items there. Everything that your store is selling, you have them there. But then guess what? You get delisted out of Walmart which means people could still go and buy it. They could still go and trade it. However, it's not in Walmart anymore where most people are. So this is not good because it takes away from a huge demographic of people who would have been able to otherwise buy it. So in order to get to stay listed and not get delisted from the NASDAQ, or we're gonna call it Walmart, and they wanted to stay in Walmart so they could have so many people buying it, they say, you know what? We gotta meet the requirements to stay in the NASDAQ or to stay in Walmart. So then they did this 10 for one reverse split. So now, the reverse stock split is undertaken with the objective to meet the minimum $1 per share requirement for maintaining listing for the company's common shares on the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ, think of it like a store where you go and buy stocks and they needed to meet these requirements in order to stay there, baby. So now, I always tell you, if you wanna be a big dog in the game, you wanna be a billionaire, you gotta think like one. So what are the big dogs doing with their billions of dollars? Are they doing more buying of this or more selling of this? And this is an interesting story, so let's break it down. Let's look at this, according to fintel.io, if you look at the listings and the filings for the last just couple of days, you'll see this, 2021, May 2021, or actually May 21st. And look, Citadel, they sold out, but you already know how they get down, they always short selling something. And there's a few green here, the green are the new buys, picking up for the first time. The gray, there's one gray, and it's Morgan Stanley, and they bought it, and that means they loaded up but they already had it. But notice that there's a lot of red here. This means that they completely just basically sold out of their position totally and they got up out of there. So now, 
What's going on and why are so many of your big dogs selling? Because they're trying to drive the stock price down on CTRM. Let's look at the short volume. So this means how many different of the, how many amount of shares actually are being shorted, which means there are different companies and different large institutions or individual investors or whoever are betting that the stock goes down. So now that's what short selling is. You bet that the stock goes down and you make money on when it's coming down. So look at this, the short volume is 24 million. The whole market volume is 79 million, which means the short volume ratio is 31%, making CTRM one of the most heavily shorted stocks, which means the market is totally betting against them that they're gonna go down. Uh, basically of all stocks, it's not exactly number one, but it's among the top stocks being shorted right now. Now, somebody said, oh man, it's being shorted like crazy. Does this make this the new AMC, the new GameStop? So we gotta do further research on that to make something like that confirm. However, don't believe into anything like that because notice the community that AMC has behind it. CTRM, they don't have the same community where most of the people who own it are just retail investors and they're all trying to diamond hand it. You don't see that same community on CTRM. So it's likely that the large institutions could force the price down on this where they wouldn't have had that same control on AMC. So you gotta be very cautious with this one. So what are the price targets on this? The price targets are as follows. So 10 stock analysts on Wall Street, they rated this in May, and they gave it a 91 cent price target on a high, which is basically the 3X from here, just about. On the median, they said 42 cents, and then on the downside, they said 35 cents. So, let's look at some more of the details on this. So, the total volume on a day is 132 million shares being exchanged, bought and sold, each, all the rest of that and whatever. The low was basically 36 cents on a day, but notice this, the 52 week low is basically 11 cents. And we got in much closer to that side when we got in when it was 29 cents. It still has not come down there yet in a very long time. So how are we gonna play this one? This is what I want you to do. I want you to either let it bottom out and let it come down because the reverse split is scheduled for about May 18th. So let this, all of this negative pressure come down on it. If you see it in the 20 range, this is a better position in it to get in than where it is right now because there's still a lot of negative pressure coming in because of this reverse stock split. And then if you decide to get in on this, make sure you put your stop loss on it. Do not go down with the ship on a penny stock, especially this one, where all of the large institutions are trying to make it go down. They're trying to force it, force it down. And then there are none of the support there like they have for AMC, like they have for GameStop. CTRM does not have that same level of support. So then that means it gives the large institutions a better chance at making this stock come down, down, down to exactly where they want it to be. So now the next banger on the list is Coinbase, ticker symbol C-T-R-M. Oh, I'm, I'm my bad. You know what? I'm reading... You can't even see this. I'm reading Cast in Maritime again. Let me scroll over one. You know what I mean? So here we go. Coinbase. C-O-I-N. Here we go. So now, C-O-I-N. You know, we ain't always gonna get it right, baby, but we bounce back. So here we go. Right now, it's at 225, and on a day, it's basically flat. And on a week, it's down 5%. However, on a month, this thing is down 20%, baby. But Kathy Woods and ARK Invest, they keep loading the boat. Just recently, they picked up about $100 million worth of this. Now, Kathy Wood loads up on another $51 million on Coinbase, and the shares jump up a little bit, just a tiny bit. They picked up 223,000 shares just recently, but not even before that, they picked up $59 million worth of shares, and they entirely cut their Apple stake. Now, just because Kathy Wood cut her Apple stake, that don't mean you should cut yours. Apple is a banger. And wait until Apple come out with this EV that they've been working on for the last couple of years that they've been keeping on a secret, but it's not been a good secret. Wait till they come out with that and everybody start to rush in and rush in. It's expected to be like 2024 or so. You want to get in way before that. Apple is a banger. So let's keep talking about Coinbase. What are the big dogs doing? Because the big dogs tell you where they think fair market value is. Now, they say $300. They picked it up just on April 28th. They picked it up $300. They put $45 million down when it was $300. Guess what? They were wrong. It came down even further than that. Let's look even further than that. On April 20th, they put $50 million on that. And then that that's when it was $333. And then 
on April 19th, when it was $337, they put $102 million on a play. Guess what? You get to get in way earlier than all of those big dogs, baby. And Goldman Sachs, they just gave this a price target, saying that they see this going up 30%, 36% to be exact, over $300 a share. So now, they recently just did this actually today. But what I want you to do again is get up on that Discord with us. I see y'all. I should be making another video today. I love y'all. I wanted to get this one out quick. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks and stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in the index funds, I love y'all. Take care.